Hello everybody, I'm Kiralis and welcome to Surviving the Aftermath. Or should I say, welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Because I have done a little mini series of this game when it was in early access. However, today is the day when this game leaves early access and becomes a final release. So I'm super eager to check out what's new, what has changed, what has been added. First of all, however, a huge shout out to Paradox Interactive for sponsoring this video. And also, if you guys are into colony builders, city builders, do check out the links in the description. I think you might love this one, all right? But no time to waste. Let's just jump in right into the action. Everything we once knew is gone. We've become drifters, roaming the wastelands, scouring the wreckage for something to hold on to, searching for someone to light the way forward. Welcome to Surviving the Aftermath. Will we survive and thrive? Probably not. So stay tuned and see us die. So I haven't played this in ages and let's maybe just scout the surroundings a little bit before we start and oh behave. Okay, this might be a feature from the, from the early access as well, but everything is hidden in the shadows, in the mist, in the fog. So you can see over here, we got the wooden ruins, we got the berries and we have... I wouldn't pile over here but everything else okay this is gonna be a headache for me because i love pre-planning stuff but hey you know what it it doesn't matter let's go over here so who this is this the founding father of everything the world is in ruins things once considered mundane are hard to find and habitable land is no exception a settler has finally found a spot for a new colony mm-hmm with a place to call home, it is time for a new beginning. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. Well, spank you, spank you so much, sir. Build the campsite to mark the center of a new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area. And by the way, before we start, let me just pause this game briefly, because many of you might be curious, what, what is this game all about? Well, this is a colony, survival, city building, simulation, strategy game, and I'm a sucker for games like this, all right? So let's just first of all check out what we can construct. And as we progress and research stuff, more stuff will be unlocked in these categories. But we can do roads. We can also do the campsite in exploration. We can do shelters. We can do storage. We can do food. So we get trapper and a fishing pier. Check it, check, check, check. We do have water well, water collector, and clean storage. That is the water category. Resources. We have health. An outhouse. We got a toilet. I have not seen this before. So basic hygiene is a must for a healthy colony. Allows colonists to wash and relieve themselves. And everybody loves to relieve themselves, right? Keep outhouses away from other buildings to avoid contamination. <laughs> Patient slots. <laughs> the poop doctor. I <laughs> love that. Medical tent, burial pit, and a burner. Hmm, haven't seen this either. Heats buildings up during winter storms. Interesting. And then, and then we have my favorite category. Decoration. Where does one put this humongous campsite? Uh, let me see. Rotate, rotate. How many ties do we have? That is four. Okay. Don't hate me. Let's maybe get this guy over here. Berries. We have some wooden runes and the wood pile. Okay. Is that... Is that a toot? Can I sound a toot? <laughs> There are survivors waiting for a signal from the settler. They Shoot the flare. Shoot the flare. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can see over here. Now this has been uncovered. So we do have some plastic. We got more wooden ruins. More plastic. Your first Hello. colonists have arrived. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. So, I guess no pressure, right? We've reached a milestone. 
plastic, plastic, wooden runes, anything else over here about? We do have a little lake over here. Oh, we have a huge lake for fishing over here. That is perfect. Okay, pause the game, pause the game before everybody dies. So now you might ask yourselves, what do we need to survive and try? And I do have the answer, and you will hate me, but the answer to everyone's problems is roads. Roads connect people, roads make people happy. Food is good, water is even better, but roads... Roads are vital. <laughs> don't, don't hate me. We can have roads, okay? I love pre playing a little bit and the roads are just, just my thing. Let's get this road down over here and let's get this road over here. And that is three people each. Then we have the emergency shelter, which is six people. Let me just hear. Must be heated during winter storms. Must be heated during winter storms, which means we need... What was that? That was the burner, right? And how big is this? It is three by three. Free planning with Kiralis. Don't, don't get upset. Don't get upset. Let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Uh, if I would do a road, one, two, and three on the fourth one, going this way, <laughs> it's gonna look really silly. But once we unlock the bushes, we're gonna place bushes and everybody's gonna be like, oh, that is so, so pretty. And I'm like, yeah, that is pretty much what it is. It's pretty. And let's get this road over here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let it be, let it be. Hopefully I can squeeze in one of those shelters, by the way. Emergency shelter, that goes in like a so. This is actually going to be perfect. So one and two, like that. And now people will survive and thrive, even during winter storms. Uh, or maybe not. Then we're gonna have a gate here which protects us from the bandits and the and the and the outside wilderness, I guess. Like so, like so. Oh wow, okay. One more thing which we need to do before we unpause, that is the water. Because they're gonna be fine with the roads, but water might be a little bit crucial as well. Let's do let's do one over here maybe and then one in the far end like that this is just to start off and kick off our little colony uh, with, with water needs and let's prioritize this over here so that's gonna be what they build first and let's unpause look at all of them they're happy they like homes but but yet again i just see smiley faces about here <laughs> no i don't everybody's semi-dying so we do have our specialist the scrapper and we yes. do have Kate, right? Let's maybe send them for some better, huh? uh, berries gathering for the, for the moment. Just so we have a little bit of a surplus food. And they're going to be going uh, over here. And as soon, as soon as the gate is built, right? We're going to build a gate over here. We're going to go out over here into the world map. And they're going to be going exploring, scavenging and questing, I believe. Questing is something I have no idea how it operates because I haven't seen it yet. Campsite museum. Okay. As you can see over here, we're going to uh, send out Kate over here to the museum. And this place has 500 research points to be to be gathered, right? And as soon as they, those are gathered, we're going to go into this. Their research uh, tree or tech tree. And they've changed that as well. Okay, so we do have food, obviously. And a lot of stuff can be unlocked over here. A lot of stuff. Extended kitchen, chef's training, coated hoppers. Okay, there's a lot of stuff which is brand new, and I love it. Resources. I see, I see. Motorization. Biofuel. Mass production. Conveyor belts. Are you kidding me? Okay, that is kind of kind of cool. Then we have infrastructure water pipes. Okay, I need to spend some time over here. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Large rotors. Submerged pumping. Community. Bunk beds. Okay, I think I'm going to do, first of all, I think we're going to go into community. Community, and then we're going to go to food. And maybe with some safety. Guardians. Okay, hold up. Nurses? Hazmat engineering. Weapon crafting. I love myself some guns to protect ourselves, right? Okay, they have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> making roads and paths. 
<laughs> Everybody's gonna die before before we are done. I no no they're not. Don't be silly. Don't don't be silly. Let's do this by the way. And let's squeeze in one more house just to get the measurements correct. Uh, like this. Uh, just in case in the future we want to mirror this, this shape to the other side, okay? That that is that is my 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 train of thought. And I guess we could just be going like this, like that, and then goes like this for the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Pause. Cancel. Cancel that. So what exactly is this campsite? It's pretty much just basically a big, big storage pile, right? Carrier counts. Let's maybe get two peeps. It can be upgraded in the future. Capacity is 300. Not, not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Uh, night is coming, people. G get, get those houses up. Or maybe paths. Paths? Okay, let me, <laughs> let me just build those next, I guess. But everybody loves paths. That is, that is a well-known secret, right? So those guys are getting berries. Uh, however, you know what? Let me maybe do this. So we do have uh, one stockpile free of charge. Terrible placements. But it's going to be... No, it's, it's not going to be terrible placement. Because you know why, why it's not a terrible placement over here? That is because... Let's say we have a stockpile far, far out somewhere about. They're going to be all hungry all the time, right? And now they're going to be passing and grabbing some, something, something to eat while they, they deliver wood and such. No, this is a terrible placement, by the way. But I mean, it's gonna be here. It's here to stay at, at now for the moment and uh, let's get the work area Hmm, let's maybe get that uh, Like so There's a lot of wood over here and then this work here, which is the food is gonna be over here for the moment Perfect. Yeah This is something I love about games games like this, is just seeing how everything operates once it's built up. We don't, obviously, we don't world much besides besides uh, the campsite and those guys over here. You just deliver that over here, and that is planks, and those planks are going to be taken into this house over here, right? So scavengers plastics from plastic deposits. Okay, so what we need... Where did we have... Okay, that is three ginormous piles of plastic. So let's do let's do this. Okay, let's... let's uh, road. Road out to this place. Uh, like that. Beautiful. And then let's get one guy set up over here. And maybe even one guy on the other side. Because plastics is something we're going to be needing a lot, a lot. So boom. One over here. Oh, wow. It's up and running. It's not much. But it's a start. Just imagine all those kids sleeping at night when the bandits attack. It's gonna be a, a slaughter. Maybe we may misplace those. No, 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 no. Once the gate is up, everything should be just fantastic. Do the toots. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just kidding, just kidding. Nothing bad is happening. Not yet. <laughs> Definitely not yet. So yeah, we set up one of those over here, so I'm gonna increase the priority uh, as soon as this is built up, I guess. Which technically it should be very soon, so build that next, I guess. Okay, so what else would we need? Toilets, right? Uh, from, from the bats. Oh, is this done? It's done, right? It is done! Let's employ one more. <laughs> the, the, the downside is we only have 12 people. And out of those 12 people, four are children. So they're not really helping out much, which is terrible. Is child labor a thing in this game? Can we research child labor? I mean, everybody's gonna pitch in somehow, right? Maybe they can get berries. Or get rid of their dead on the streets later on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Outhouses. So they do cause pollution. They do have one of the, the poop doctor slots. So let's maybe put them, like, temporarily. One over here. And one over here, bushes in between, and uh, a little bit further away from from the from the whole uh, community. But we don't want to have them close, because otherwise they're going to be pooping all over the place. Is this any? Com Someone oh, what is seems this? to have been stealing wood from the storage. A few colonists go to investigate. So they apparently made a fort. You know what? No, leave the fort alone. It's only twenty-five wood, right? Or planks. This actually looks like one of my kids. So leave the fort alone. Let them be happy. 
20 happiness, smiley faces all over the place. Okay, those are big build up. That is perfect. Also, if we just check over here, we have storage for 300 water. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, water collector and clean water storage. Let's construct. Let's get those guys. We would need some heaters somewhere about over here, right? So let's maybe do... I'm not sure how they operate. Let's maybe just turn them around like this. One, two, three. <laughs> so in case... Okay, in case a meteor strike, this is a terrible replacement because all our water supply is going to be... Bye-bye. Sayonara. Adios. And 190 and 175. Okay, so let's start building the gates because as soon as the gate is up and running, we can start exploring the... Get all those research points, start researching, get those jackets, get those tools, and scout the surroundings. Maybe we can find more civilizations. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. And what is this, by the way? Milestones. They've, they've actually added quite, quite a bit to the game. I love that. Even a huge overview of absolutely everything. Antonio, Bradley, Erica, Erica, Hazel, Lee. This is kind of cool, because <laughs> there's a lot of information about everything. Sle slept badly. Recent event, no shelter. Hey now, calm down. Everybody calm down. Stuff is happening as we speak. God, let's, let's try this out. Let's get a fishing dock built. What's the closest lake? And I guess it would be... I guess it would be this one over here, right? The big one. So let's get ourselves a little, like... Fishing dock. Ba -bam, ba -da -bam. And then let's get this water collector for future future use, all right? And let's get that build just... That's it over here. Free of charge. It does produce 12 water, which is better than wells, to be honest. However, it requires Bradley to, to get all the water buckets up from, from, from the lake, right? Somebody, oh, somebody, somebody was in the toilet. There's a lot of flies. Is that what I think? Is that a duck? On, on, I think there's that duck on the, on the door. I see. Oh, no. A colony's just mutated. I can't wash that off in the toilet. Uh, okay, so what do we need to, to make this guy survive? Who is this, by the way? Or uh, Savannah. We would, we would require uh, a medic. Who's this? One of the colonists approaches, looking more than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Okay, this is a gamble, because we could give her fiber. But, but does she look trustworthy? Give her fiber. She failed on the jackets or the glowing pieces, which kind of sucks. But what was I thinking about? I was thinking about getting some medics up and running. So medical, tent, 55 and 40. Yeah, because then we can have bushes on the sides. Like, we have, like, believe me, we have quite a bit of a vast space to expand upon later on, if that's going to happen. So we, let's not worry about the space required. Where's our mutated Savannah? Savannah? Uh. Okay, let, let her not die. Let's have maybe a priority on this. Yes, confirm. That is a duck. <laughs> Love that. Congratulations. Yay. You rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. Okay. We've reached so this miles. means... There are survivors at the gate. Yes, yes, we need them. How, how many? Uh, slow down, slow down. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Mmm, look at that. So if we accept this group, which obviously I will, we will gain eight adults and four children, but also we're gonna get Rico. Rico is, is one of the specialists. A research, recovery, attack, scavenge. So pretty much a, a good scout. Let's accept this group. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Uh, make yourself at home. You have nowhere to sleep. Don't you worry. What is unlocked? The bushes. Not much. Not much as of now. The Pathfinder statue. That would look kind of cool just having on the entrance, right? Let's let's poop it down over here. 
because I think that's going to make everybody happy because it's a beautiful statue nevertheless, right? And how do I get those guys out? What's up? Scrapper? Okay, send to world map. Reporting in. Send to world map. Rico, send to world map. We should maybe save one of those guys in case of raids and bandits, right? Uh -huh. But I need a research point. So, uh, Kate, good. over here and get into the, to the beautiful museum. Ready? Scrapper, you go over here and get sure some thing. of the tools. And Rico, grab some right jackets. Away. These simple towers scout their surroundings and remove the fog that covers the land. Perfect. Okay, so what I want to do... So let's go over here and then place a tower in the far end. Mm -hmm. Where is the scout tower? There we go. And put it down over here. And hopefully that's going to remove. We also would need a lumberjack. There's so much we need. But it's only day five. It is only day five. I repeat, only day five. There's a new quest available. Oh, Okay. This is the first time I see the quests. How does this operate? Do I click this? The recent stormy weather might have cleared the air around some of the villages that have been inaccessible due to high amounts of pollution. You know what? I'm going to visit the villages. I have no idea how this operates. So I guess the this is just a... stormy weather might have cleared Okay, the so air. it's pretty much an active quest. It's going to take a few days until we discover what is is what this is all about. Let's get ourselves to the lumber yard. Ooh, just a lot of lumber. Lumber yard. We will also get a logging camp set up like maybe somewhere over here. Boom. And then obviously a forester. <laughs> this is ginormous. We're going to get rid of the whole forest. Bye bye, forest. It was nice knowing you. Let's get this guy situated somewhere over here. All right, I know a lot of the a lot of the trees are went just bye bye, but 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 uh, but hopefully we can we can we can salvage that as soon as the the foresters start planting new trees. I'm losing it. No, James. No, James, you're like uh, you're glowing. Is that James? I think that was James. And we have two out of two people inside of the medical tent. Bad bad mojo. At least we have toilets over here. Um, should we save? We're still alive and thriving. Guardians would be kind of cool to have. Guards are the backbone of defending a colony against hostile animals and humans. Upgrade guard posts. Ooh, but we would need guns for those, right? And we don't have guns. Or maybe we don't need guns. Let's just save this point for the moment, okay? Until those guys are, uh, over here reveals more of the map. Uh, hello? Oh yeah, look at that. Well, not technically anything amazing. Okay, that is a little bit dangerous. Uh, Kate? My pleasure. I believe. Scavenge those tools. She's kind of bad fighter though. Maybe we should get uh, yes. Scrapper down here because this is my DPS guy. 20 in damage, right? So we should maybe get this guy down over here and fight that little village or city. All cleaned and up. Nine damage. What is that? Go in. Yeah, you'd be fine, right? Oh. Arriving at the first location makes it immediately evident that it's not safe. Deadly fumes are rising from the ground and the whole village is covered in an eerie hue. Going into the place would be death sentence. Hopefully the two other destinations are worth the trip. Move on. Move on. A person wrapped in layers of cloth, rubber and mud is standing at the gate. So, accept the com computer. I need the research points. 15 food. Yeah. That should be fine. Now we get more research points. So we could technically get something else going over here. Let's see here. The guardians would be amazing. We get the farming. Soil studies. Let's get the soil studies. Planting speed, 75%. Ice fishing would be amazing. Oh, centuries repairs. That would be 225. You know, no. Let's get centuries repair. Research. And then metal scavenging queued at research. So we're going to have centuries repairs, which is not that cool, I guess. But the metal scavenging will be vital for us. Because we can build our statue. Which might not be super vital. But it's going to be 
<laughs> Amazing. Also, what else is new over here? The small fields. Perfect. How big? Oh, wow. Okay, this is something brand new as well, which I haven't seen. So the plantation is a little bit, not min like limited, but obviously, like, let me see here. So that is efficiency 75. Okay, that would be 98. Next to it, 84. One. And four. I don't think we're going to have enough people for those. Uh, but, but at least we're going to have a few fields with some crops. <gasps> no! Heat wave. Intense and oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. It ain't moist anymore, people. Okay, so colonies will drink the double amount of water. Crop fields will suffer. Build water storage. Okay, we have a lot of water storage. We've made a new discovery. We've reached a milestone. Ba -ba Boom! Uh, okay, heat wave is coming. Oh no! There is a heat wave. Hi, children. Uh, not there. Well, nature. When nature calls, nature calls, right? Okay, those are depleted. We can't do anything with the fields. Other than that, everything is going quite smoothly, I guess. And uh, the scrapper, something we can build now. So where was the thing? It was over here. So let's just get the scrapper up. Uh, where's the road paths going? Can I? Maybe. Roads are live. Dani Rojas. Roads are definitely live. Dani Rojas. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Also, what we did forget is to upgrade those with the bank bed upgrade, right? Yes. So that will, uh, I guess... Major happiness penalty must be here during winters. So, get it done. Yes, start the upgrade. Now everybody's gonna lose their house <laughs> because I'm upgrading. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got this. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. We're gonna get Kensai. And a few supplies. So Kensai is gonna be our new specialist. A, a new fighter. 285 damage. I, you know, for base protection, this is gonna be great. Welcome, everybody. <gasps> Hostiles in the colony. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, cancer construction. Cancer construction. We do have one fighter back at base. Oh no. I don't want to check. I don't want to check because what I'm doing here is more vital than the sounds they're making. I'm making roads. And then I'm placing bushes. Okay, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. This sounds bad. This is this sounds really bad. This is the end of the colony. The end of the civilization as we once knew it. And then we're gonna place maybe some of the red flowers because they're birdie. Red flowers, red flowers, red flowers, 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 and flowers. This is gonna be so nice. Okay, so what is exactly happening? There's a little mouse. A mouse is. Okay, uh, is mouse dying? Mouse dead. I is that all? No, just more mice. There's a lot of mice. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Shoot, kill. No, don't die. Antonio. Antonio, don't do it, Antonio. Run away, Antonio. Oh. He... Ooh. Okay. We might we might save the day. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. No. <gasps> Not Antonio. The funny thing is, cause of death, hunger. He starved while fighting the mice. We've bandits at the gate. Oh, no! Luckily, we have four people of our specialists back home. So, so what do they want? Okay, tell me. Give a lot of food. I don't have much food, so I'm not going to give away my food. We got nothing for you. Okay, so what, what happens? Did it just go? They went away. I thought... No, they did not. No, no. Hey, 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 now. Can, can you be shooting those people? Somebody's shooting. Uh, beep, beep, help! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what happened? That was glorious. Somebody threw a need. Is this still an attack? No, we won. We need people. Give us people. Come on, people. Come to the gate, people. Come to the gates. All right. Go Locked kick his butt. Get those jackets, please. The merchant with the rubber duck in the gas mask. Hello. A big van stands by the gate. The back has been opened, revealing an assortment of miscellaneous goods. You know what? I'm going to take the research points. Because research is key at this stage. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I just love how the duck just hits the, the like uh, the, the the tunnel. Slow progress, but good progress. Beyond tomorrow. Uh, oof, okay, just stop it. More than two decades have passed since the events that plunged the world into the apocalypse. Catastrophes sweep through the land on a regular basis, instilling fear amongst the people who try to start anew. You know what? I will start this quest. What started as a natural disaster of cosmic origin led to the downfall that swept through civilization. Nations fell, and remaining factions fought over power and resources until there were no armies left to command. Arrange an expedition. Find out what happened. I love this. But the thing is, I don't think they can fish during winter times unless we did do research that. Or maybe they can. I'm just happy that we have so many people. Oh, look at this! It's almost done! Our beautiful school! <laughs> Let me see here. Communal living. Yes, please. We're gonna get some tents. Or, I mean, get out of the tents and into better housing. We're gonna build a tenement. Might not be pretty, but uh, it's gonna be something. Get that researched. Oh, behave. Mm, it's, it's not perfect, but but it, it's something, all right. I like that. We have two of those now, for future. Still very low on on food, which is a little bit scary. You done? Mission complete. Yes, you know what? You have quite plenty of that. Those medic okay. med kits head back and return them. Are you ready? Ooh, first things attack first. Target. You go and attack that guy. 25 damage, one DPS. I think we survived our winter, did we? Okay, that was a little bit iffy. Okay, so we know we can't grow anything on those, which was terrible. The fishing without the, without the fishing thing was a no-go zone, being the, because they can't fish because it's ice, so we need to research the ice fishing, which is kind of cool. Yay, we survived the winter! It's amazing! Oh! Ah! Ah! Sorry, dude! Ooh! Too late. <laughs> no. no, no, no! I guess this guy repairs it anyhow, so yeah, okay, it does repair. That was a little bit sad. Almost had it. What's happening over here? Okay, we need people to that. But we still have quite plenty of the plastic, so let's not touch it. But the school is open for business. How many students do we have? We have seven slots and five students in our beautiful school bus school. And they're making paintings. Look how happy they are. But we survived the winter. You know what? Like, it's gonna take a while. I've been playing this for for about... Let me just see. I've been recording this for one hour and 40 minutes about. Uh, and it does take, like, to build up your colony, it's gonna take a while. And that's the beauty of it. And you can die. I guess quite easily. Uh, hello? Yeah. You go boom boom in your face. Uh, you know what? Like, let me know what you guys think about the game. Please do check out the links. Um, shall we do a mini-series on, on the game? Please do let me know, because we can pick up where we left off of here and just continue expanding the colony and making this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Do the toots? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. 
I kid, I kid, I kid. All I can say is I'm uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm going to be playing this off camera anyhow. So if you guys want to see a mini series, let me know in the comment section and check out the links as I said. See you guys, hopefully in the next episode of Surviving the Aftermath. But this game has come a long way since, ooh, kill it, since I first played it. It looks much, much, much more beautiful. More complex stuff is coming as well. I love the fog. It does give it a whole new dynamic. Also with the seasons as winter. Love that. And the questing as well. The recent Still stormy weather. Uh-huh. Beyond tomorrow. What started as a natural. Still doing questing. D don't look at that. Nothing is nothing bad is gonna happen. Everybody, enjoy the beautiful toilets we've built over here. And I'm going to see you guys hopefully in the next episode. I don't know. Hit the like button. Bye, everybody. Did you have a dump? Was that a number two?